Romulans became major Star Trek villains after just two TOS appearances. The Romulans became one of Star Trek's most iconic villains after appearing in only two episodes of Star Trek, the original series. The Romulans made quite an impression during their first appearance in TO Season 1, Episode 14, Balance of Terror, as a cunning Romulan commander, Mark Leonard, faced off against Captain James T. Kirk, William Shatner. Balance of Terror not only revealed the Romulans to related to Vulcans, but also established the militaristic nature of Romulan civilization. The Romulans would go on to appear in 21 episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation and 16 episodes of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, making them one of the franchise's most prolific villains. Romulans have often been depicted as duplicitous and manipulative, using their intelligence and military prowess to achieve their goals. In Star Trek, the original series Season 3, Episode 2, The Enterprise Incident, Spock, Leonard Nimoy, grew close to a female Romulan commander, Joan Linville, and her characterization added nuance to the Romulans. Romulans made a huge impact in Star Trek, the original series, Season 1, in Star Trek. The original series is Balance of Terror. The USS Enterprise investigates the destruction of Federation outposts near the neutral zone, eventually discovering the culprit to be a cloaked Romulan ship. When the Enterprise detects a message from the ship, they gain access to a visual feed of the bridge. Captain Kirk and the Enterprise crew are shocked to discover how much the Romulans resemble Vulcans. Spock is just as surprised as the rest of the crew and surmises that the Romulans are an offshoot of the Vulcans. Because of this, Spock urges Kirk to attack the Romulan vessel, as the Romulans could be just as dangerously violent as the Vulcans once were. The Romulan commander anticipates some of Captain Kirk's moves, just as Kirk anticipates some of his. Nearly evenly matched, the two ships end up in a game of cat and mouse until the Romulan ship is disabled. The Romulan commander destroys his own ship rather than let it be taken by the Federation, lamenting that he and Kirk might have been friends in a different situation. Mark Leonard's Romulan commander is one of the most well-realized and compelling guest stars of Star Trek, the original series, and his presence alone cements the Romulans as formidable villains. When Captain Kirk takes the Starship Enterprise into Romulan space in Star Trek, the original series Season 3 is The Enterprise Incident. The captain and his first officer are invited aboard the Romulan flagship. Kirk and Spock meet with the Romulan commander, and Spock declares that Kirk has gone insane. Kirk and Spock's actions are eventually revealed to be part of a Federation mission to steal a Romulan cloaking device. Throughout the episode, Spock grows close with the Romulan commander, developing a real connection with her despite his true motives. Spock's liaison with the Romulan commander foreshadows his eventual work to reunite the Romulan and Vulcan civilizations. In Star Trek, the next generation's unification two-parter, Ambassador Spock helps further an underground movement among the Romulans to embrace the ways of Vulcan. Although reunification would not be achieved during his lifetime, the Romulans and Vulcans lived together on the planet Nivar, formerly Vulcan, by the 32nd century. With guest stars as compelling as the Romulan commanders portrayed by Mark Leonard and Joan Leanville, it's not surprising that the Romulans became one of Star Trek's most interesting villains after only two episodes of Star Trek, the original series. The Romulans have cemented themselves as one of the most iconic and enduring villains in the Star Trek universe a position made all the more remarkable considering how few appearances they made in the original series, TOS. Despite only being featured in two key episodes of TOS, their distinct culture, fierce sense of honor, and enigmatic nature left a lasting impression on the Star Trek mythos, influencing the portrayal of villains for decades to come. The Romulans first appeared in the TOS episode Balance of Terror, which originally aired in 1966. In this classic episode, they were introduced as a mysterious and formidable adversary with a shared heritage with the Vulcans. The episode is pivotal in setting up the Romulans as a highly strategic and militaristic race, as well as in establishing their cold, calculating demeanor that would become a hallmark of their appearances across various Star Trek series. What made the Romulans so compelling, even after just two appearances, was their distinct cultural and philosophical differences from both the Federation and their Vulcan cousins. While the Vulcans embraced logic and emotional suppression, the Romulans were driven by passion, ambition, and a fierce loyalty to their empire. This juxtaposition was powerfully portrayed in Balance of Terror, as viewers were introduced to the Romulan commander, played by Mark Leonard, 
whose tactical brilliance and stoic demeanor made him a worthy adversary for Captain Kirk. In Balance of Terror, we see a tense cat and mouse game between Kirk's USS Enterprise and the cloaked Romulan ship. The stakes are high, with the Romulans testing the Federation's boundaries, possibly hinting at a renewed conflict after decades of Cold War-like tensions. The Romulans' use of cloaking technology, which allowed their ships to become invisible, instantly set them apart from other Star Trek villains. This technology not only represented a direct threat to the Federation's ideals of transparency and diplomacy, but also underscored the Romulans' preference for subterfuge and stealth over open conflict. The clash between the Federation's ideals of peace and exploration and the Romulans' aggressive expansionism became a central theme in this episode, laying the groundwork for the Romulans' future role as antagonists. Despite their hostility, the Romulans were portrayed with a sense of complexity and nuance rarely seen in villainous characters at the time. The Romulan commander was not simply a mustache-twirling antagonist, he was a reluctant warrior, weary of endless conflict but bound by duty to his empire. His respect for Kirk as a worthy opponent added layers to the narrative, suggesting that the Romulans were not purely evil, but were instead driven by their own sense of duty and honor, much like the Federation officers they opposed. This layered portrayal helped elevate the Romulans from typical Skyfee villains to fully fleshed out characters with their own motivations and internal conflicts. Balance of Terror was not merely an episode about good versus evil, but rather about two sides locked in a deadly confrontation each with its own valid, if opposing, worldview. The episode's lasting impact was in part due to this complexity, as it invited viewers to empathize with both sides, making the Romulans far more than just one-dimensional enemies. The Romulans would make their second and final appearance in TOS in the third season episode, The Enterprise Incident, which aired in 1968. This episode further developed their cunning nature and their intricate political machinations. In the Enterprise incident, Kirk and Spock engage in a covert mission to steal Romulan cloaking technology, playing directly into the Romulan strengths of deception and subterfuge. The episode also introduced the first female Romulan commander, played by Joan Leanville, whose intelligence and assertiveness reinforced the Romulan status as formidable adversaries. Her chemistry with Spock, as well as her keen tactical mind, showcased the Romulans as not only a physical threat, but also a psychological one capable of outmaneuvering even Starfleet's best. The Romulans' limited appearances in TOS only enhanced their mystique. Unlike the Klingons, who were more frequently featured as antagonists, the Romulans remained elusive, their motivations often shrouded in secrecy. This scarcity made their appearances feel more significant, heightening the tension whenever they emerged from the shadows. When the Romulans appeared, the stakes were high, and their involvement in any storyline signaled that something major was at play. Their use of cloaking devices, their deep sense of honor, and their almost feudal-like loyalty to their empire drew clear lines between them and other adversaries in the Star Trek universe. They embodied a mix of ancient Roman ideals suggested by their name and the Cold War paranoia of espionage and hidden threats that were prevalent in the 1960s when the series was produced. The Romulans thus became a powerful metaphor for the anxieties of the time symbolizing the dangers of miscommunication and mistrust and ideological conflict in a divided world.